Welcome to Great Neighborhood Cooks. I'm your host, Rob Kircher. Each week, I'm going to be knocking on the doors of amazing cooks who live down the street or around the corner. Who knows, maybe from your own neighborhood. For the most part, they're unsung cooks known mainly to their family and friends. Or they might be cooks from that great little hideaway restaurant that we love to discover. Either way, their relative obscurity is about to change as I bring them into the spotlight. So who will be the next discovered Great Neighborhood Cook? Well, stay tuned to find out. So, Ruth, who will be our next discovered great neighborhood cook? Well, we're here on Marco Island, which is the furthest we've come. We've never been here before. I know. And I understand we're going to be meeting a, a guy by the name of Doug Smith, right? Yes. And uh, he was, what, a waiter? He was a waiter, and his wife, Beth, was a bus girl at uh, the Bramble Inn many, 30 years ago. And they fell in love. They did, and <laughs> yes. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so we're here in Marco Island. Yeah. And, uh, and Doug pretty much is a fisherman, right? He loves to fish, yes. And, and he's a great fisherman. Oh, and I think we have a, a very special fish in, very in, unusual. in store for us, yes, right? Yes, yes. And it's called a what? It's called a permit. A permit. Yes. Not a hermit, but a permit. Let's go in and meet Doug. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Double wrap. We'll give him the bums rush here. I know. Here. And there they are. <laughs> Wow. Hi, you guys. Oh, oh, you were to the door. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Good to see you. How are you? So good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. Thank this is marvelous. Welcome. So, Doug, this is a very special fish, right? It is. Uh, permit. We get them about 50-plus uh, miles offshore. Really? Huh? Wow. On structure, typically. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And who are these lovely, lovely people we have right here? Great friends and neighbors. Yep. Known them for... A year almost to the day. Rod and I uh, this year did um, stone crab pots, so we put some stone crab pots out. Just about over. It, isn't it? it right. ended yesterday. It is over. Yep. The season goes from from October fifteenth to May fifteenth. Yep. Now a stone crab pot is like a lobster pot, really. I mean, similar, right? Yep. A little smaller. But, and, but uh, once they get in, they can't get out. I mean, that's the whole idea, right? Exactly. Okay. Yes. So we did about thirteen weeks of pulls. So you leave the pot pots to soak for about a week, week and a half. The plastic pot. Why would why would you want it to soak for? It's sitting in the water with all the bait oh, in I there. See, I so see. it soaks in there. Oh, okay. And then uh, all the crab uh, climb in. And, uh, and what do you put in the little box with the? All the fish we catch, we take the carcasses. Oh. And um, we load the pots up with the carcasses and, uh, yeah. and drop them down. And, and all these goodies they love, they just kind of go through that little hole. Exactly. And they caught and put some cat food. I was just going to yeah. say, didn't I hear something we, we, we about a can of okay. cat food? Yeah, I heard exactly. that. Yeah. Cat food. Yep. Why is Audrey like hiding over there? She's like backing away. <laughs> uh, this is your husband. This is your husband, Audrey. <laughs> so yeah, so you can have uh, five per. So uh, Rod has five, Audrey has five, my wife Beth has five, and I have five. So we had 20 well, pots out this and year. And I'm only guessing, we haven't gotten this right, but I'm only guessing that your freezer is probably full of fish fillets, right? Actually it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get on with this because absolutely, I absolutely. absolutely. The knuckle meat we, we found is, is probably better than the better than the crab claw itself. When you get the knuckle meat out yep. and a good piece like that, well, it's the... Uh, that's a prize. You're well, happy. That's, that's yeah. a prize. We'll yeah. all be fighting for that. <laughs> nice. Ooh, uh, wonderful. This is like a little mustard mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Love that. Yeah. Love that. That looks that's great. A little Worcestershire in there. So that, that's, yeah. that's what you do. It's kind of like a lollipop. You stick yeah. it in and pull it out, and <laughs> they will re now, it, it, re you re have regrow a, the claw. You have a preference as to which one you take or not? The bigger one. The bigger one. one. The bigger <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> and they take about they take about a year to grow back. Do they really? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so season ends. Incredible um, creatures, aren't they? they season yeah, ends May fifteenth, yeah. and yeah. so they grow yeah. throughout until wow. uh, so, October fifteenth. Wow. So are these considered medium, small, medium, large? Those yeah. are medium. Yeah. Those that's are probably medium. medium yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, I can see why they. Now call has the red tide affected the fishing at all? The crab? Um, a little bit, yeah, little it has. Bit, yeah. It has. I understand is, is that you had to go further out to get the bigger claws. Rod did you know a what? beautiful job filleting these. He really did. Yes, this, this is gorgeous. He's so expert. I think what we should do is portion this out. Okay. And we're going to roast it in a 500 oven. Okay. Um, I think probably with just a little salt and pepper. Perfect. So it's absolutely gorgeous fish. It's so fresh. It was a great fight. Uh, was it really? Yeah. Uh, so this yeah. is a fighter fish? This is a fighter fish. Yeah. So uh, 
They hook up and uh, you catch them on live crabs. Yep. So you float the live crab. And uh, the permits school. So there's a whole bunch of permit and they go after the, uh, the crab. Yep. And uh, then you just hang on. Because wow. they're taking line out and running. They're trying to run the structure yep. to, to untangle and uh, cut you off. So it's a, it's a great fight. So it's a ride. It's a ride. <laughs> the ride of your life. <laughs> Absolutely. And we're going to do a little asparagus with this first. So yep. Doug, I'm going to have you drizzle a little olive oil in there and sprinkle it with some salt, salt and, and pepper. pepper. Yep. Just toss it and we'll put it over on that sheet. Sounds great. I can't wait to try this. Oh, it's so good. It's a great fight and a great eating fish. Well, I've been the recipient of a lot of your nice fish. <laughs> and we always enjoy it. Yeah. Well, that looks great. Yeah. Just give that a quick toss. I'm going to do the same here. This is going to be so good. And the nice part about this is that it's so quick and easy. I mean, this this will cook up in about oh, 10 minutes. Fresh. Yep. Yep. Delicious. Okay, that can go over on that board. And this will go on here. And it's going to be perfect. Well, you remember at the Bramble Inn, we always had that smoked bluefish and that Everybody just loved that. We oh, make a fantastic smoked dish. bluefish pate, and it was so good. Very, very good. So I'm just going to, uh, I sprayed this parchment, and I'm just going to tuck it down around here. Mm -hmm. You don't need to seal it or wrap it. Right. But if you just tuck it down, it kind of keeps all the moisture in. We're barefoot cooks, as you can see. It's the only way to roll down <laughs> That's here. Right. That's right. All right, very hot. Like. Okay, very hot so let's see. Let's get these both in. So Audrey, you're making a salad for us, right? And it I looks am. like a beautiful salad too. Look at all these great ingredients. Yeah, so yes. I see the blue cheese. Uh, what do you call this salad? Well, it's a pomegranate um, and apple salad with butter lettuce. Nice. With butter lettuce. Glazed yep. walnuts and Now I saw, I saw Rod make, uh, kind of doing some apples earlier. Did we mm -hmm. forget that ingredient? And, uh, well, that's I wanted them fresh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So he's kind enough to do this. That's great. Well, let's see you make this. This, is, right. this looks fantastic. So first of all, it's butter lettuce, and you tear it into um, really um, broad leaves, so you don't want to ruin the, the butter lettuce. No, it bruises easily. It bruises so. easily, yep. so you want to be very nice careful. Little it's sort of like me. I bruise very easily. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, yeah. And so what we do with the salad is, um, first of all, we're going to put in some apple slices, thinly sliced. And then on top of that, we have some pomegranate seeds. And I like Very to colorful, save some. Very colorful, isn't it? I love it's it. It's really colorful one. Yeah. I save some for on top of the salad when we're really all done. Yeah. And the same with um, some um, candied uh, walnuts. Walnuts, I love and walnuts. So we, I did those at home. Rod helped me, of course. Great. And so... Um, so we got the crunch, we got the apple, we got yeah. the, uh -huh. the and wonderful... And we have the tarragon. And oh, the tarragon yeah. has kind of a licorice taste. Yes, right. But it... It adds just a little so bit of yeah, yeah. To, uh, to what we're doing. And then it's a matter of tossing and, um, and adding um, the dressing, which um, is a homemade what dressing. What about this? I'll do that last. Okay. We're going to do that last. Okay. All right. Very last. Um, but um, what you'll what find... What kind of dressing is this? It's a homemade, right? It's homemade, and it has some, um, obviously, oil in it as well as some, a little bit of onion and... Um, garlic, I hope? No, no garlic. No garlic, no wow. No garlic, okay, which wow. is really unusual, and I love yeah. garlic. Um, but I like, dre I like dressing this in salads that are pretty lightly dressed, so yeah. I always right. start... Just a garlic little This is the hardest part, so is to get down to the bottom of that I thing know. and bring yeah. everything up. It is. Yeah. I think while you're finishing this up, I'm going to go check and see how our Yeah, how much have uh, we got? Another 10, yeah, 15? Yeah, I think we've got about another five minutes, okay. but I'm going to go check. Can I, can I mix a little bit? Yeah, Do you mind? You certainly can. I, I, like, getting, I like getting it about. Okay. You can even okay. use your hands if you want. Oh, really? Well, actually, it's probably a better way of doing it. More pomegranate, right? Yes. We'll finish with pomegranate. Well, put the rest of that in. Wow. But we will... What happens is everything goes to the bottom as you're mixing, and I like to save it for the top. Yeah. And that way, everybody gets a little bit of salt. I agree. 
Waste not, want not. Put that in there. Exactly. Give it another toss. Yep. Okay. Or you can just leave some of it on. Or just, oh, you want to make it look pretty. Okay. Yeah. All right, Rob, pretty. stop stop with the mixing, okay? <laughs> All right. And then what we'll do is, is just do individual salads. That looks beautiful. Oh, doesn't that look gorgeous? Yes. And so, guess what? Rod actually sliced the apple. He sliced the apple. Yeah. He finally did something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Other than help catch oh, the fish. Yeah, the fish, the, the crab, crab, everything right. else. Yeah. So how's it? The oven's good? The oven is good. The asparagus is ready. Uh, the fish is going to be just another right. minute. And so I'm let's go to a break then. Okay. And we'll be back, ladies and gentlemen, in about a few minutes. And we're going to taste Ruth's amazing. It's a, it's a permit Champagne fish. and lobster sauce on the permit. On a permit. Yes. Okay. Perfect. We'll be back. Okay. Well, folks, we're back from the break, and uh, Ruth is just doing an amazing job with the soap. Here. And uh, we're going to be, uh, I'm going to have a line here. So we're going to be, uh, we have our service, okay? So step up here. And uh, I've been given a job, so I'm going to be putting the potatoes on a plate. And uh, this is the, oh, look at that. Marvelous. Put sauce. Get your potatoes going oh, there. Oh, get my potatoes. <laughs> uh, I love it. Okay. Yeah. Everything came out so Boy, it looks fantastic. Right. Okay. Good. Wow. It reminds me of the Bramble Inn. Yes, it does. We've got a nice little assembly line here. Champagne sauce to go on okay. The Can I pass this out? You may. We've got Put some sauce on there. Here, ready for his. Okay. We are good to go. Thank there you. There you go. It looks fantastic. And Audrey. Oh, thank you. Okay. I'm falling behind in my potatoes here. Okay. <laughs> now this is going to take you back to the old days of the Bramble Inn. I mean, yes, my goodness. Uh, now, do you always have that uh, that uh, that face on when you cook, like where you don't oh, get yeah. a lot of smiling? You know? Not a lot of smiling. Not a lot of smiling, right? No time to smile. I've been trying to break you of that, but. Look at this. Oh, I'm working. All right, come on, let's go. All right, let's go. Oh, look, we have the salads over here, too. Wow. Oh, yes. Okay. Our beautiful salads. Wow. Ruth, I got to tell you something. This has just been a blast, hasn't it? <laughs> I mean, uh, unbelievable people, um, and the food is incredible. And I got to tell you something. All of you are just amazing. What I can't, I'm still trying to get it through my head that they, they don't work. They just, they just fish. <laughs> I mean, how do we get that cake? How do we get exactly, that cake? I want that I know. cake. Anyway, I agree. all kidding aside, folks, sure. let's uh, so have a toast here. And cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah, thank, thank you. you Your hospitality. To family, friends, oh fishing. My God, I love it. And, and to you, fishing buddy. <laughs> Salud. And it all started at the Bramble Inn. Right, it all started at the Bramble Inn. Cheers. You know, and for those of uh, folks who don't know the Bramble Inn, this is where uh, Ruth actually and, and her husband, uh, Cliff, had uh, a business for about 32 years, years something so. like that, in uh, Cape Cod Bay. And um, it just an outstanding restaurant. I think it was number one in the world or something like that. Oh, right? not quite. Something like that, right? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Let's do it. Let's get in okay. there. I'd like to do this. Uh, ready on one, two, three. We're going to taste it, right? One, two, three. Go for it. Mm. Ruth, this is absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you. Great oh my job. God. Great mm. job. It's delicious. Wow. All right. So um, go to our website and also would like you to um, like us on Facebook and on Instagram. And you can also uh, see behind the scenes and you can download the recipes. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.